Okay, I put the hand cannon back on and uh We're gonna try and turn up here. Oh my god! Yo. What's going on, guys? Right away here, and welcome back to the channel. The beta for Call of Duty Vanguard is uh, coming up very, very soon. I'm gonna try my best to hook you guys up with some code so you can get access to the beta. If you guys need one, drop a like right now and let me know in the comment section what console you guys play on. As y'all can see, though, man, we are back here with some Black Ops Cold War. Now, in today's video, man, we are going to be looking at probably the new best gun in this game. Now, if you guys have been living under a rock, if you guys haven't been playing Black Ops Cold War, basically, the Tech 9 SMG has been just ruining this game. It's been running rampant and it's been the most overpowered gun ever. It was crazy. With a recent update, I think it was either yesterday or two days ago, they essentially nerfed the full auto tech nine. But on top of that, they went ahead and buffed the PPSH, which is crazy. I didn't expect this. So you guys are probably wondering what they actually changed uh, for the PPSH. So they gave it more damage. If you run the task force barrel before it only gave it plus 4% damage, but now with the brand new update, it gives it plus 7% damage. Now, that's a pretty significant buff, and the PPSH now has more damage in Black Ops Cold War multiplayer. Of course, guys, if you are purchasing anything within Black Ops Cold War or multiplayer, or if you're pre-ordering Vanguard, make sure to use my support or creator code, man. It's just RAID, R-A-I-D. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new. A lot of great content is coming up soon, man, so just, you know, make sure you guys are subscribed. Also, guys, I just wanted to quickly mention my G Fuel code right now is 30% off, so you Use code RAID if you guys are interested in purchasing some G Fuel. You can find the link in the description. And they just came out with this brand new flavor called Flavor Bomb. And it's for the brand new movie Free Guy, which is in theaters right now. So yeah, cop some G Fuel. Do it. Use code RAID. I'm also drinking some right now. Alrighty, guys. So uh, yeah, we have the brand new BSH. I feel like I haven't played uh, Black Ops Cold War in like a little bit. And what I mean by that is like the last time I did upload Black Ops Cold War, I was grinding for camos and everything. And I feel like that. That really wasn't uh, like me playing, uh, me kind of tryharding, going for, you know, nukes and all that. So I feel like I haven't played Cold War in like a cool minute, actually. But uh, I was pretty excited to see that the Tech 9 got a nerf as well as... Listen, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Bro, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I was pretty excited to hear that the, uh, the Tech 9 and the EM2 caught uh, a pretty massive nerf but they updated the task force barrel making it so it has a bigger increase of damage which i really didn't think that was necessary like i really thought the bbsh was in a good spot and i feel like it did not need a damage buff there we go okay but they went ahead and buffed it so instead of a four percent damage increase it's now a seven percent damage increase i believe so wait what I, I, I hate this game sometimes. I really, I'm not gonna lie. I really hate Cold War sometimes. <laughs> there we go. I'm versing a freaking clan. Okay, start shrieking up a tiny bit. I stuck him. Oh, what a throw, baby. Let's go. Come on, come on. Fact that they buffed it is kind of incredible. Okay, the whole team's down here. Okay. Um. Wait. Was that a triple? I feel like score streaks in this game are just a little too, a little too overpowered sometimes. Okay. Okay, I'm on a 20. I'm not moving. 21. Oh, they just keep throwing nades. Okay, halftime, bro. But I think on the 7th of uh, September, uh, Vanguard is going to be having their multiplayer reveal. I think there's going to be somewhat of like a stream, somewhat of like gameplay that they're going to be showcasing of multiplayer. Uh, but then on the 10th, I believe, of this month is when the Vanguard multiplayer beta starts, essentially. So we will be playing Vanguard multiplayer literally in a few days. I don't want to die. Oh, okay, there we go. This is bad. I just got joked. It's kind of weird, but like I feel like I am more excited for Vanguard rather than I was for Black Ops Cold War. I don't know about you guys, but I didn't like the engine for Black Ops Cold War. I feel like I talked about this like kind of frequently, but I just didn't like how Black Ops Cold War really... 
Did I just fall down? Yeah, I wasn't a huge fan of the Black Ops Cold War uh, engine. Uh, this game doesn't feel that good to me, in my opinion. But I actually really do like how Vanguard feels. Um, I'm really excited about multiplayer, and I, I think it's going to be a really, really good year. I don't know why. I'm just confident I feel this way. And I feel like it's going to be a really, really good year when it comes to uh, multiplayer, when it comes to Vanguard. I'm just overall pretty damn excited for the year to come. <laughs> People are just down there on the boat. All right, that's the victory. Uh, wow, we choked the nuke that game. That that's gonna hurt me. That's definitely gonna sting a little bit. But we'll regain. We'll try and regain and uh, and and get a nuke. All right, we're, that's what we're gonna do. This is TDM, so I can't... <sighs> this is TDM, so I can't really die. I really can't afford to die, honestly. Okay. Alright. Uh, we're gonna go for the nuke. I want to use my shrieks, but... A lot of you guys tell me no. <laughs> A lot of you guys tell me no. So... Even though I really want to right now, and I'm going to. Okay, that's it! That's it! <laughs> that's it, guys, alright? I just wanted the, the spawns to flip, alright? That's it, man. Thank you. Alright, one on the 17. Ah, oh, PPSH feels so good. PPSH feels so nice, it's actually quite insane how good this thing feels. Look at that. Okay, this guy knows I'm here. Okay. I kind of want the, sp the spawns to... Wait. Okay, the spawns are not okay right now. Hold on. The spawns are not okay. We flip spawns. Teammate, let these guys come through. 125. Can the nuke get called in? Thank you. Oh my god. Bro. That was one of my cleanest nukes, I feel, in Black Ops Cold War, bro. So we're rocking the sound suppressor for the muzzle. If you don't want to rock this, I would probably recommend the KGB Eliminator or the Gru Suppressor, but I just didn't want to miss out on that minus 25% effective damage range, so I just went with the regular sound suppressor for the barrel. I mean, the whole video is based off of the Task Force barrel, because before it only gave you plus 4% damage, and it wasn't really that necessary to run, but now it gives you plus 7% damage, which is definitely a significant uh, increase right there for uh, the Task Force Barrel. For the Under Barrel Rock and Spetsnaz Grip to help out with the vertical and horizontal recoil. For the Magazine, I'm just running the regular 55 round drum. And then for the stock, the Raider stock. So overall, guys, this PPSH class setup is nuts. This buff made it really, really good. And the Tech 9 is definitely still up there as one of the best guns. But I feel like with this PPSH, it gives it more of a competition and it makes it so you don't only have to run the Tech 9 to succeed in this game. So thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you guys next time.